Okay, everybody, I had a subscriber asking about the internals of a John Petrucci Majesty Sterling by Music Man. These are the pots and stuff. And you see this right here. This mounts over your volume pot for your boost. That's the difference in the... Uh, it use, oh, it uses a barrel input jack. But see, like the, the USA Majesties would have CTS pots. These are cheaper made pots. Not to say they're not good. They are great. I've had no problems with it. That wiring is all neat. From the factory. It's a lot better. Oh, well, my thumb's in the way. There's a, it's a lot better on this guitar than it is on my uh, my JS140 as far as neatness goes. And then here's the, the, one, the one he was asking about. The battery compartment. Mine... I don't know how yours is, but mine just lays in there on that. There's no foam in here to protect it or anything, and it just lays in there like that. Click it back down. Trim a little cavity, of course. If you were to make adjustments for your angle, you would use the screws in here. But I've been having issues uploading videos. I had one made. 30 minute jam video and I, I haven't been able to get it to upload but I mean man this this guitar it's not a USA Majesty you know it's not a music man <laughs> but it's damn sure close enough I mean it it does phenomenal it's a phenomenal instrument Put these screws back in. There will be another guitar review coming to my channel. Uh-oh. We have lost a screw. Oh, I found it. I'm getting a Charville here either tomorrow or Monday. And man, I need to talk about something. Now, this is not to shit on a company or anything like that. But usually, if I'm going on online to shop for a guitar, I will, uh, I will buy it straight out. I won't be like, oh, put this on hold for me. I will always make sure I have the money. And, uh, this guitar I saw online, and, uh, I was like, man, that's, that's awesome. It's a good price. I've never owned a Charville. I think I might have to get this. And so I call them up and uh, start talking about next week, next payday. I need to, uh, I need you to hold this guitar for me because it had limited stock. And next week when I get paid, I'll be putting in the order. I want a quote on the total for how much I need. And that way I know when I order it, I've got enough, enough to cover it. Oh, yeah, man, no problem. We'll put it on hold for you. And, uh, you know, you should be hearing from us sometime next week. Because I didn't have the money in my account to cover this. And I was like, yeah, man, sounds good. Cool. I'll be waiting, you know, for your email or call, or whatever. I get up to go to work yesterday morning. I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting to go in. I get an email. We're excited to tell you, your order has shipped. And I was like, oh God, you know, I didn't have the money to cover it. And they completely drained my account and overdrew me $125. And I was freaking out. I've never had my account overdrawn in my life. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. And I was like, man, I have no experience with this. I don't know what's going to happen now. And I woke up today. And they actually gave me 125 bucks that my uh, account was overdrawn. They just went ahead and put that right back in for me. So that was cool of them to help me out. But I had to sell the guitar. And I sold my Gibson, my Les Paul. And uh, I got $750 out of it. 
which isn't too bad considering that I bought it used for not too much more than that. And I thought, man, maybe I would regret selling my, my Gibson. Like, I wanted another one for so long after having to sell my first one. But you know what? No. I feel like I never played it very much. And I uh, I hope that someone gets it that will enjoy it and play it like it should be. Because I have this. This guitar. My Prestige over there. My JS Series guitars under the bed. I play these more than any other guitars that I own. And then the Charvel. I can't wait to get my hands on that thing and see how it feels compared to something like this. But once again, I have to rave about this guitar. It's it's immaculate. I love this thing. I could play it forever. Whoa, am I getting... Dude, I'm getting like a grit feeling right here. Running my hand down the neck where I've played on it. It's starting to rub through, it feels like. That's cool. But yeah, that's a little story. Moral of that story, uh, if you're going to buy a guitar online, just go ahead and buy it when you have the money. I know it's human error, and probably doesn't happen all the time, like what happened to me, but man, <coughs> I'll never put another guitar on hold. I'll be buying them straight out from here on out, just because of that. But you guys can, you know, do what you will, <laughs> but uh, fair warning. Thanks for watching. To the subscriber that wanted the internals of this, I uh, hope it was helpful or got you what you needed. And thanks for watching. And everybody, shred it up out there.